What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So this has been a highly requested one and today we're going to be teaching you how to do a proper push-up, full range of motion, common mistakes. We're going to go over literally everything. Really excited about this. Before we jump into it, smash that like button. You already know it's going to be amazing. Now let's jump right into it, okay? So first and foremost, let's go over the common mistakes. The push-up is literally one of the best exercises for, for body weight if you don't have equipment all of that good stuff, amazing for chest development. You're gonna see later how we can target the triceps, the shoulders and everything like that. But one of the biggest issues is most people jump into it and they just don't do it properly, okay? So there's a lot of steps. And first and foremost, one of the biggest issues is most people focus on quantity over quality, okay? You tell someone to do 20 push-ups, they do it, and this is what it looks like. Or, or, Avoid that, okay? And kind of like a 1.5 is just range of motion, right? So you saw the form that I did there. 1.5, a lot of times when you say, do more push-ups, this is what most people do, okay? They get on the ground, they're ready for it, and they just go like this, okay? You have your hat in the way, do something like that, and you use your hat to go here. You're just not getting a full range of motion. You're not working your chest, okay? So make sure to basically try to get everything all the way to the ground without resting and just going all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, okay? One of the biggest things, you guys will get such great success. Wait till the end of the video, we'll show you if you can't do this yet, there's a lot of tips and tricks to help you out. So we've talked about how a lot of people focus on quantity over quality, there's core range of motion, but number two common mistake, and this isn't your fault, you just haven't been able to build up to it, okay? Is improper body positioning, okay? So what a lot of, a lot of times what happens is you go to do a push up, you go to support yourself, butt sinks down, and you go down like this, okay? It's just a lot, I see a lot of awkward things happen. Butt sinks down, you just, you can't get down there properly. So really try to make sure you have an entire straight line between your legs, your butt. As you can see on the screen there, everything is completely straight. And if you can't build up and do these yet, we're gonna talk about eccentrics and incline push-ups later on, which are super helpful, but focus on body positioning. And number three common mistake is just improper arm positioning, okay? This is super important because this can literally uh, take you from doing it right to doing it completely wrong and also even messing up your shoulder. So the best rule of thumb for the average person, I'd say is just about shoulder width apart. You'll get better benefits if you just rip your, rip your hands into the ground and try to open a can and engage it, okay? And then last but not least, you really wanna make sure that everything is in line, okay? You don't wanna be too far back and you don't wanna be too forward, okay? So just setting up like this, right underneath in line with your shoulders, sink your hands into the ground, get everything nice and engaged, and just go all the way down, okay? Now, one thing I will say is, when you tuck your elbows more, it's gonna be more triceps, but a common mistake I see is people set up and their elbows flare. They just flare like crazy, that's gonna tear up your shoulders and it's something you definitely wanna stay away from. So hopefully that makes sense. Basically those are the common mistakes that I see and now I just wanted to walk you through a full proper push up, how to do it, and then we'll get into five awesome variations, okay? So what I do is I get onto the ground. Once again, everything is shoulder, around shoulder width apart. You can play around with this, okay? Everything's in line here. You pretty much just go like this. Engage your glutes, engage your core. That's a common mistake a lot of people forget. They just kind of become super uh, awkward and they just kind of go into it without thinking about that. Glutes and core are engaged, everything's in line, and you just go down and then up, okay? You see there's a straight line and it's just an amazing exercise when executed pro uh, properly. And once again, I wanted to also talk about full range of motion. A lot of people miss it on the bottom end, but a lot of times people miss it on the top end. So they kind of jump into it and then they're like, <clears throat> right? So you want a full lockout get everything, elbows almost locked out, kind of like a slight bend, and then down, okay? Boom, okay? Don't just do half reps. Now let's jump right into the variations. Number one, my personal favorite is an eccentric push-up. Now, a lot of times when people can't do proper push-ups, they decide to do knee push-ups. Now, those are good, but the push-up is a full body exercise, okay? By taking out the lower body, it's obviously not full body and it's not gonna be as effective. So this is my personal favorite as a regression if you can't do proper push-ups, okay? So setting up all of the tips I've said, control on the way down, three, two, one, reset, and then up. Three, two, one, reset, and then up, okay? So eventually, 
you're gonna be able to do push-ups. You have to keep doing that over and over again, play around with tempo. You could do five seconds, but you're just getting used to supporting your body weight. And if you do these mixed with variation number two, which is gonna be an incline push-up, it's gonna be amazing. And if you can't do push-ups, these are great regressions. So an incline push-up is pretty much taking any platform. You can start up super high. Let's start with this, for example. Same tips apply, everything engaged. Bringing yourself all the way down, and then all the way up. Down, up, okay? And as you get better, you can start with a huge box. As you can see on the screen here, we're a little bit lower, and work your way to the ground. You'll have a push-up in no time, and these are just awesome variations. And next up, push-up variation number three is gonna be a close grip push-up, okay? So if you can do a lot of push-ups, and they're super easy, and if you're just at home or something, and you wanna switch it up and do close grip push-ups, these are amazing to target more triceps than chest. As you can see, my arms are nice and tight to my side, um, super close, nice and control. You know, even if you want a bit more of a challenge, you can do um, triangle push-ups. Those are awesome for triceps as well, and these are just great variations. Variation number four, this is amazing if you wanna target a bit more shoulders. This is the pike push-up. So as you can see, I'm kind of in a downward dog position, and this is basically just going to put more weight on your, on your shoulders than anything, okay? Try these out, they're fantastic. You do a bunch of these and you guys will get great results, especially once again, working out from home. So give these a shot. And last but not least, here's a bit of a progression for you if you're like, hey, I can do hundreds and hundreds of push-ups with full range of motion, great quality. Try this out, okay? Even if you can do 100, these are great. Uh, this is a great alternative. It's a clapping push-up. It's gonna help with explosiveness. It's gonna be more challenging. You're gonna feel like a freaking beast after. So give these a shot, okay? Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's a super in-depth exercise. It's actually a lot more complicated than most people make it out to be. And the truth is, most people should be mastering a push-up before doing these heavy bench presses and all these other pushing exercises. So give it a shot. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to smash that like button if you are looking for someone to take your fitness journey to the next level through uh, unlimited form um, coaching on uh, just your programming as well as just the best workout routines ever, accountability and nutrition. Where your guys hit the first link in the description if you want a full in-depth form guide we'll also take care of you completely free and we look forward to helping you out and thanks for watching peace